Hi, Tom here with this week's Circle and Art School video, How to Draw the Reichstag Dome, which is part of the Reichstag Parliament building in Berlin. First, draw a horizontal line across the middle of your page. Next, we can draw a vertical line in the centre of the page. Now, draw an ellipse, which is just a circle seen on its side, towards the bottom of your vertical line. Next, we can draw a series of concentric ellipses around this first ellipse, with the lines at the back of each of the ellipses quite close together, and the lines at the front of each of the ellipses further apart, so that it looks like circles in perspective. Next, we can draw a curved line from the top left to the centre ellipse and then another line on the right and now we can add four more lines curving into the centre of the smallest ellipse in the dome-like shape that we're drawing. Next, we can draw the lines like spokes of a wheel from the centre ellipse coming out to the outer ellipse, the outer circle of our drawing. Now we can draw two curved lines from the right to the left for the start of a spiral walkway that encircles the dome. Above this, we can draw several more pairs of curved lines to represent the layers of the walkway. Now, all of these lines can go from the left to right or right to left. They just need to be generally the right sort of lines. They don't need to be exactly right. As long as they're sort of smooth lines, I think they'll work fine. Now once we have all of these lines in place, we can erase the area where these lines overlap the central mirror cone in the middle of our drawing. Now we can draw some slats for the mirrors on this cone. Now each of the facets of this inverted cone needs to have little rectangular slats. They should be more or less straight where these slats reach the horizon, the horizontal line, the first line that we drew in this drawing. But the slats, as they rise above this horizontal line, and as they go to the left and right, they should bend down to the left and then bend down to the right as they go further up the drawing. And now with these lines at the side of this inverted cone, I'll just sketch them in at this stage and sort of neaten them up a bit later on. And this horizontal line, the first line that we drew, we no longer need that, so we can um, erase that as well. Next, we can add a double line to greater thickness to the walkway. We can now extend the spokes on our wheel-like shape at the bottom of this drawing and draw a curved vertical lines of the dome shape we are drawing. Next, we can erase some of the lines we no longer need. Now, I'll go over all of the main lines that I've drawn with a black pen. I do not need to go over 
all of the lines exactly because I want to try and improve some of the lines and correct them as I see things that need correcting. I always find the more that I look, the more that I see, so I'm continually making small changes and hopefully improvements to my drawing as I notice shapes and connections that I did not see at first. I'll add a double thickness to these dome lines, these vertical curved dome lines, and add a series of horizontal curved lines behind all of the shapes that we have already drawn. Now these horizontal curved lines go around the outside of the dome, but there will be lines which are behind all of our lines because we're in the inside of the dome. some small diagonal lines in each of these small sections. For this drawing I use a 4B pencil, a black pen, a grey marker pen, a soft white pastel and some grey paper. The white pastel and grey paper work really well together, but the drawing still doesn't really need that to work. I hope you like this art tutorial and you find it useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all of my past and future drawings. I post a new how to draw video each week and I have now made over 220 how to draw videos.
foundation stone of the Reichstag building was laid in 1884 and obviously it's had a very dramatic history. But after the German reunification in 1990, it was decided to move the parliament back to the Reichstag building, which had been left in a state of ruin since the Second World War. In 1992, the British architect Norman Foster was selected to design a reconstruction of the Reichstag, and he included this magnificent glass dome on the roof, giving a view of the whole of the city of Berlin. The debating chamber of the parliament is directly below the dome and the natural light from the dome radiates down to the parliament floor using the mirrors in the inverse cone-like shape in the centre of the dome. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, for a new how to draw art tutorial every week.